Hey guys, MJ here, looking to show you how I complete the INT gear mission. Uh, the one where you face Mace Windu and you've got to have a team of tanks. Uh, this is usually my strategy for accomplishing that feat. It's the hardest setting that I go on now and uh, my characters that I have available are usually, I believe, Poe Dameron, Chewbacca, Stormtrooper Han. First Order Stormtrooper and Royal Guard. In the lead, I have Chewbacca, mainly because of his leadership ability for that 40 defense and boost in defense when you take a hit. This can be very important when you come up against Mace Windu because he can one shot kill one of these guys for me. The new update's coming in two more days. I reckon Royal Guard's going to be quite an interesting guy on this. Especially this mission, because I think everyone pretty much has Royal Guard. So, you can imagine, with his ability to stun people, when it comes to Mace Windu in that final battle, he's just going to keep stunning him, Poe's going to keep knocking down his attack, First Order Stormtrooper's going to keep slowing him down, and... I believe Chewie and Royal Guard can reduce turn meter as well. As in, like, the opposing team's turn meter, they can take that away. So Chewie and Royal Guard will take away turn meter. He'll get stunned by Royal Guard, which takes away his turn. And he'll just keep getting blasted. Nice and easy. It's fairly easy as it is if your team does target Windu, but there are times where, for whatever reason, you leave it on auto, they just start attacking the droids. Like, it's like that, it's just a waste of time to attack them. There you go. Turn meter reduction, physical damage. And let's see who he goes to attack. Fantastic. The only problem about this tank team is they can't damage him for shit. <laughs> and they're not really high levels. I mean, I think Poe. High leveled in stars. They are about 60 for Chewie because his leadership. But when I think about it, I think they're level 3 in their abilities. Because I just don't want to waste the stuff on them. I just want to collect the gear though, so you can see there, resistance bravado, had to get that in, uh, chewy, free free, jeez, lucky leader though, Han, to be fair I did think his plan B was going to be a lot better, but you know, he is a pain in the ass to fight against though, because he just tends to get those taunts on and every time you hit him it's given the team turn meter and the thing about this game is there's two things speed and power there's no point having power if you haven't got the speed because you'll just get focused on if you've got the speed and the power fantastic and the problem with Han is he makes you shoot him he gives his turn meter to his allies when you attack him so you're making them faster as you lay down more damage on him and you have to attack him. If he had a bit more health, jeez, a nightmare character he would be. But he's more of an annoyance. But under the right circumstances, he can be ultra annoying. Just to summarize guys, this is the team I have. Level 60 Chewie, level 50 8 Poe Dameron, 50 Royal Guard, 50 Han, 50 First Order Stormtrooper. This is the point. It's not the best tanky team, but it's the one that can get the job done, and it gets done consistently. Chewie's level 4 star. His leadership abilities are all free, apart from the leadership, which is about a level 6. Poe Dameron, same thing again. Maxed out skills are level 3 and he's got about a 5 star resistant bravado skill set. Same again for Royal Guard, Han Solo and First Order Stormtrooper. 
that's the team I need to do it. I'm not going to invest heavily in these guys. I'm not going to get my purple gears. I keep Chewie as a safe backup because time's in galactic war. I just need that defense up and he's good to chuck in there to take some damage. Give some defense up, take some health, take that fire and he can be a good get out of jail free card. Uh, the rest, they're mostly disposable but the real guards update's going to make him very very good for this mission. He's going to be perhaps the best out of these guys eventually because he'll be able to just stun Mace Windu. And First Order Stormtrooper, eh, he's so-so but I'm probably not using him to his fullest potential. Maybe Tebow would be more damaging actually. <laughs> I can imagine him stealthing up and causing all sorts of trouble. He might be a guy to boost up. But you might have better tank characters. But just know if you've got this kind of setup. You're mostly going to be it 9 times out of 10. The one time being if you leave it on auto. And the computer just starts attacking the drones. Instead of Mace Windu. You'll start to feel the pain. So there you have it guys. If you like that video. You want me to do some more. Just let me know in the comments below.